In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create this drop and shatter animation in 5 minutes. Let's import an image as plane. Please rotate the image so that it can be viewed correctly from the top viewport. G and Z to move the mesh on the Z axis. Shift D to duplicate and type Z to slightly move it up. The top mesh will serve as a cover mesh that will hide all the cell fracture cracks on the drop mesh below. I'll create a ground plane and add a passive rigid body. The cover mesh should have an active rigid body. For the drop mesh, we need to cell fracture the mesh first, and copy and paste the rigid body as usual. Let's undo. In edit mode, right click and type S to subdivide. We'll get more details when we cell fracture a subdivided mesh. I'll type M to put them into a new collection. Let's copy the rigid body to the rest, and test the animation. Let's change the margin to zero to see what happens. In this case, we could increase the margins or extrude the ground plane. There is the result we've been looking for. Do you see these lines? We need to hide them. I'll add a dark material to the ground mesh. How do we hide the lines before the mesh hits the ground? We need to use the cover mesh like this. Another issue is the cover mesh still being present after being dropped. We must hide it once it hits the ground. To do so, we must find exactly on what frame the mesh hits the ground. Frame 10. That means the cover mesh's visibility has to be turned off on frame 10. Let's animate the mesh's visibility status. On frame 1, hover the mouse over the mesh's viewport and render visibility status and type I as in India to set a new keyframe. On frame 10, 
Turn both viewport and render status off and set new keyframes. That worked perfectly. This is the end of the tutorial. Thank you for watching.